thousand times bigger than Earth. It's mostly gas, and it rotates once in about 10 hours. Imagine a storm that lasts for 300 years. Elon Musk reveals some shocking truths about Jupiter that challenge what we've traditionally been told. Some of these conspiracy theories uh, have turned out to be true. Do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet that causes us to die out. As one of the leading figures in space exploration, Musk dives deep into the mysteries of the gas giant, unveiling new scientific insights and theories that could change our understanding of the largest planet in our solar system. NASA is launching the largest spacecraft ever built for a planetary mission. Europa Clipper is headed to Jupiter's moon Europa, where the evidence points to water. Scientists have discovered the hottest known exoplanet, also known as an ultra-hot Jupiter. Jupiter rotates on its axis about once every nine hours, compared to a 24-hour day for us. So huge superheated clouds from the interior. From its massive storms to its unexplored moons, Musk discusses what might be hidden beneath Jupiter's thick cloud layers and why current space missions may be missing some key details. The tiny candle of consciousness that constitutes humanity it is all that there is in this vast darkness. Welcome to this incredible exploration of one of the most fascinating planets in our solar system, Jupiter. Buckle up because today we're diving into some eye-opening revelations about Jupiter that might change everything you thought you knew. Jupiter, the gas giant, has long captivated astronomers and enthusiasts alike. It's the largest planet in our solar system, known for its iconic Great Red Spot, a colossal storm that has raged for centuries. But what if I told you that there's much more to Jupiter than meets the eye? Recent discussions have hinted at a deeper, more complex narrative surrounding this planet, one that challenges conventional understanding. The revelations come not only from scientists, but also from insights shared by Elon Musk, a man who has revolutionized space travel and exploration. Musk's perspective sheds new light on Jupiter, suggesting there are mysteries that scientists may not yet fully comprehend. To start, let's talk about Jupiter's composition. Traditionally, it's been described as a gas giant, mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. However, Musk has suggested that there's more to this planetary giant, he points to the potential for exotic materials and even potential energy sources that could be harnessed if we were to explore further. Imagine a planet that holds the keys to unlimited energy. But what does this mean for our understanding of gas giants? If there are materials beyond hydrogen and helium, could these contribute to advanced technologies? Musk's vision often revolves around the idea of harnessing resources from celestial bodies. Could Jupiter be a gold mine waiting to be tapped? Let's not forget about the moons of Jupiter. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are some of the most intriguing celestial bodies in our solar system. Musk has indicated that these moons may hold clues to life beyond Earth. Europa, with its icy surface and subsurface ocean, is particularly captivating. Could it be a breeding ground for alien life? Musk's focus on exploration aligns with his ambitions for human colonization of other planets. If life exists in some form on Europa, how might this influence our understanding of life in the universe? His determination to push the boundaries of what we know could very well lead us to incredible discoveries on these distant moons. Another point of contention lies in Jupiter's magnetic field. Scientists have long understood that Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field of any planet in our solar system. However, Musk suggests that this magnetic field could be hiding secrets. What if it protects hidden phenomena or resources that could revolutionize our understanding of physics? The magnetic field generates intense radiation, creating a hazardous environment around the planet. However, if Musk's theories hold merit, the same field might also be channeling energy in ways we haven't yet discovered. This opens up possibilities for understanding not just Jupiter, but the very fabric of our solar system. Let's shift gears and consider Jupiter's role in our solar system's architecture. It's often referred to as a shield, protecting Earth from potential asteroid impacts. However, Musk has raised questions about whether this role is as straightforward as it seems. 
What if Jupiter's gravity is influencing more than we think? The gravitational pull of such a massive planet could have effects on the orbits of other celestial bodies. Could Jupiter actually be redirecting potential threats toward Earth? Or, conversely, is it creating a protective barrier that allows life on Earth to flourish? The complexities of these gravitational dynamics are a fascinating area of study that warrants deeper exploration. Next, let's consider the possibility of human exploration of Jupiter. SpaceX has made headlines for its ambitious plans to take humans to Mars, but Musk has not ruled out the potential for deeper exploration into our solar system. Could a mission to Jupiter be on the horizon? This idea brings us to the technological advancements needed to make such an endeavor feasible. Musk has always been at the forefront of innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine a spacecraft designed to withstand the harsh conditions of Jupiter's atmosphere, equipped with the latest technology to gather data and analyze the planet in ways never before possible. What about the potential for colonization? While Jupiter itself may not be a suitable candidate for human settlement, its moons might be. Musk has expressed a keen interest in colonizing other celestial bodies, and the prospect of establishing bases on moons like Europa could be within reach. The technologies developed for such missions could have far-reaching implications, not just for space exploration, but also for life on Earth. What innovations might emerge from our quest to explore Jupiter and its moons? As we continue to explore these concepts, let's touch on the role of public perception and scientific communication. The narratives surrounding space exploration often shape our understanding of the universe. Musk's bold statements challenge the status quo and push for a re-evaluation of existing knowledge. Is it possible that scientists have overlooked critical aspects of Jupiter in their research? If so, how do we ensure that we're accurately portraying the wonders of our solar system to the public? This is an important discussion that could influence future research and exploration. We must also consider the ethical implications of exploring and potentially utilizing resources from other celestial bodies. Musk's entrepreneurial spirit often raises questions about ownership, exploitation, and the responsibilities we bear as we venture into the cosmos. If we were to tap into Jupiter's resources, who would benefit? How do we ensure that exploration is conducted responsibly and ethically? These questions must be addressed as we stand on the brink of a new era of space exploration. In conclusion, Elon Musk's revelations about Jupiter invite us to rethink our understanding of this gas giant. From its potential for energy resources to the mysteries hidden within its moons, Jupiter holds untold secrets waiting to be unveiled. As we look to the future, it's clear that the exploration of Jupiter is not just a scientific endeavor, it's a journey that could redefine our place in the universe. The quest for knowledge is a powerful driving force, and with visionaries like Musk leading the charge, we are on the verge of unlocking the mysteries of our solar system. As we explore the depths of Jupiter, we must also acknowledge the mission data that has already shaped our understanding of the planet. NASA's Juno spacecraft has provided groundbreaking insights since it entered Jupiter's orbit in 2016. Equipped with sophisticated instruments, Juno has captured high-resolution images and data revealing the planet's complex atmosphere, magnetic field, and gravitational forces. Juno's findings have challenged previous models of Jupiter's structure, indicating that the planet may have a much more intricate internal configuration than once believed. The data suggests that Jupiter might possess a solid core surrounded by a mixture of hydrogen and helium in various states, which could redefine how we view gas giants overall. What does this mean for future exploration? If we can better understand the structure of Jupiter, we might develop more effective strategies for probing not just Jupiter itself, but gas giants across the universe. Imagine applying this knowledge to exoplanets, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of planetary formation and the conditions that foster life. Moreover, Musk's vision for interplanetary travel raises the question, how do we ensure the safety of astronauts venturing into such extreme environments? Developing robust shielding against radiation is paramount, 
The intense radiation belt surrounding Jupiter presents significant challenges for any manned mission. Understanding the magnetic field's nuances could lead to innovative protective technologies that may be applied not only in space, but also in other hazardous environments on Earth. Let's talk more about Jupiter's incredible atmospheric phenomena. The planet is famous for its stunning bands of clouds, which are not only beautiful but also vital to understanding the dynamics of its atmosphere. These bands, known as zonal winds, rotate at different speeds and create complex interactions that lead to massive storms, including the Great Red Spot. This giant storm is a fascinating case study in atmospheric science, Spanning approximately 1.3 times the diameter of Earth, the Great Red Spot has raged for hundreds of years. Recent observations indicate that it may be shrinking, but its longevity raises questions about the atmospheric conditions that allow such storms to persist. What can we learn from Jupiter's weather patterns? Understanding how these storms form and evolve could provide insights into Earth's climate systems, potentially informing our approach to climate change. If we can unlock the secrets of Jupiter's atmosphere, the implications could extend beyond space science into real-world applications. We also must not overlook the fascinating aspect of Jupiter's auroras. The planet's magnetic field interacts with charged particles from the solar wind, creating spectacular auroras at its poles. These displays are not just visually stunning. They also hold clues to Jupiter's magnetic environment and its interaction with the solar wind. Musk has hinted at the potential for using auroral activity as a source of energy. Imagine harnessing the energy produced by these cosmic light shows. The concept of capturing energy from natural phenomena has been a long-standing dream in both science and engineering. As we advance our technologies, who knows what possibilities might emerge from the study of Jupiter's auroras. Now let's pivot back to the moons of Jupiter, the four largest, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are known as the Galilean moons, named after Galileo Galilei, who discovered them in 1610. Each moon presents unique features and possibilities for exploration. Io, for instance, is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Its surface is dotted with hundreds of volcanoes, some erupting lava fountains dozens of miles high. The intense geological activity is driven by tidal heating, a result of gravitational interactions with Jupiter and the other Galilean moons. Exploring Io could provide insights into planetary geology and the processes that shape celestial bodies. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, is unique in that it has its own magnetic field. This raises intriguing questions about its internal structure and potential for hosting an ocean beneath its icy crust. Could Ganymede harbor conditions suitable for life? Musk's interest in colonization extends to these moons, and establishing a base on Ganymede could serve as a strategic outpost for further exploration of Jupiter and beyond. Callisto, another of Jupiter's moons, is less geologically active but is thought to have a subsurface ocean. The idea of a salty ocean beneath its surface makes it a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. Scientists are particularly keen to study Callisto's potential habitability, making it a focal point for future missions. Now, let's take a closer look at Europa. Europa is often touted as one of the most promising places to search for extraterrestrial life within our solar system. Beneath its icy surface lies a subsurface ocean that could contain more than twice the amount of water found on Earth. The potential for life in this hidden ocean is a tantalizing possibility. Musk has highlighted the importance of Europa in the quest for understanding life beyond our planet. Imagine a mission that could drill through the ice to access the ocean below. What kinds of organisms could exist there? How might they adapt to extreme conditions? The exploration of Europa could answer fundamental questions about the origins of life and whether we are alone in the universe. With ongoing advancements in technology, such a mission is becoming increasingly feasible. Concepts for landers or even ice-penetrating probes are being discussed. If successful, these missions could yield groundbreaking discoveries, potentially revealing life forms or the chemical precursors necessary for life. 
As we contemplate the possibilities of exploring Jupiter and its moons, we must also address the challenges posed by such endeavors. The harsh conditions of space travel, including radiation exposure, microgravity effects on the human body, and the psychological challenges of long-duration missions are critical considerations. Musk's ambition to send humans to Mars is a stepping stone to longer missions, including those to the outer planets. As we refine our technologies and prepare for human exploration of the solar system, each mission provides invaluable experience. The lessons learned from missions to Mars could directly influence our strategies for reaching Jupiter and its moons. In this context, Musk's vision also emphasizes the importance of international collaboration. Space exploration is a global endeavor that benefits from the combined expertise of different nations. NASA, ESA, and other space agencies are already engaged in collaborative missions. And such partnerships will be crucial as we set our sights on more distant targets. Public engagement is also a vital component of this journey. As we look to the stars, inspiring the next generation of scientists, engineers, and dreamers is essential. Musk's public persona and ambitious projects have sparked interest in space exploration among people of all ages. The more we engage the public, the more support we can rally for the funding and resources necessary for future missions. The narratives we build around space exploration also play a crucial role in shaping public perception. By framing our journeys into the cosmos as not just scientific missions, but as quests for knowledge and understanding, we can foster a culture of curiosity. Encouraging critical thinking and a passion for exploration could pave the way for new breakthroughs. As we reflect on Jupiter, we must consider the philosophical implications of our exploration. What does it mean for humanity to venture into the unknown? Each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of existence and our place in the universe. The pursuit of knowledge is a fundamental aspect of human nature, and the cosmos offers an infinite playground for our inquiries. In conclusion, Elon Musk's revelations about Jupiter invite us to look beyond the conventional narratives and explore the potential that lies within this gas giant and its moons. From the intricacies of its atmosphere to the tantalizing prospects of life on its icy moons, Jupiter challenges our understanding and inspires our curiosity. As we continue to push the boundaries of exploration, let us remain committed to seeking knowledge, understanding, and perhaps even companionship in the vast expanse of the universe. The journey ahead is filled with possibilities, and with visionaries like Musk leading the way, we stand on the brink of a new era in space exploration. What are your thoughts on these revelations about Jupiter? How do you envision our future exploration of the cosmos? Let's continue this conversation. Share your insights and questions in the comments below. As we delve further into the mysteries of Jupiter, it's important to recognize the role of technology in enhancing our understanding of this magnificent planet. The advancements in spacecraft design, imaging technology, and data analysis are revolutionizing how we study distant worlds. Juno's success is a prime example, demonstrating how modern engineering can tackle the challenges of exploring extreme environments. One of the key technological breakthroughs from the Juno mission is its use of a unique polar orbit. By flying close to the planet's poles, Juno can minimize its exposure to Jupiter's intense radiation belts. This innovative approach has allowed the spacecraft to gather high-resolution data without succumbing to the harsh conditions that would endanger other spacecraft. This kind of ingenuity not only enhances our knowledge of Jupiter, but also sets a precedent for future missions. As we prepare for more ambitious explorations, we must think creatively about how to approach our targets. Whether it's the gas giants of our solar system or exoplanets light years away, innovative mission designs will be crucial. Let's also consider the wealth of data that Juno has collected. The spacecraft is equipped with multiple scientific instruments designed to measure gravity, magnetic fields, and atmospheric composition. Each of these instruments contributes to a holistic understanding of Jupiter's structure and behavior. For example, 
Juno's microwave radiometer has provided insights into the planet's deep atmosphere, revealing information about temperature and cloud composition. This level of detail allows scientists to construct more accurate models of Jupiter's meteorology, giving us a clearer picture of how this giant behaves. With each discovery, we come one step closer to answering fundamental questions about gas giants and planetary formation. What processes govern the formation of such massive bodies? How do their atmospheres evolve? Exploring these questions can inform our understanding of other planets, including those beyond our solar system. Speaking of exoplanets, the search for gas giants around other stars has gained momentum in recent years. Astronomers are discovering more and more exoplanets that resemble Jupiter in size and composition. Studying these distant worlds through the lens of our own gas giant could yield invaluable insights into the conditions that support planetary systems. The knowledge we gain from Jupiter and its moons serves as a benchmark for assessing the habitability of exoplanets. By understanding what makes Jupiter a unique and complex planetary system, we can better identify potential life-supporting conditions in other solar systems. As we look beyond our own system, we also must contemplate the implications of colonization. Musk's ambition to establish a human presence on Mars is well documented, but the idea of venturing further into the solar system raises important questions about sustainability and ethics. If we were to consider establishing bases on moons like Europa or Ganymede, we must weigh the potential benefits against the environmental impact. What responsibilities do we hold as we explore these distant worlds? How do we ensure that our actions do not harm potential ecosystems? The ethical considerations of space exploration extend to the potential for discovering life. If we find microbial life in Europa's ocean, what would be our course of action? Protecting such ecosystems could become a priority, influencing our exploration strategies and technological developments. Musk's vision for interplanetary travel includes the idea of using resources from celestial bodies. This concept, known as in situ resource utilization, ISRU, is pivotal for sustainable exploration. For instance, if we were to establish a human presence on Europa, using local resources such as water ice for drinking and fuel would be essential. However, extracting resources must be balanced with conservation efforts. As we explore, we must prioritize scientific research over exploitation. Understanding the ecosystems and geology of these moons could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of life itself, potentially unlocking secrets that have remained hidden for eons. Moreover, the question of planetary protection is paramount. International treaties, such as the Outer Space Treaty, set guidelines for space exploration emphasizing the importance of avoiding contamination of celestial bodies. As we venture to Jupiter and its moons, adhering to these principles will be crucial in maintaining the integrity of potential extraterrestrial ecosystems. With Musk's ambitions and the advances in technology, it's vital that we foster a culture of collaboration and open dialogue among scientists, engineers, and policymakers. Exploring Jupiter is not just about discovery, it's about sharing knowledge and ensuring that future generations can continue the quest for understanding. This collaborative spirit extends to public engagement. The fascination with space exploration has captured the imagination of millions. Engaging the public in the journey to understand Jupiter and beyond can inspire a new generation of scientists and explorers. How can we leverage social media, documentaries, and educational programs to enhance public interest in space. By making science accessible and exciting, we can build a community that supports and advocates for exploration. Imagine interactive platforms where people can track missions in real time, participate in citizen science projects, and contribute to discussions about space exploration. These initiatives could empower individuals to take an active role in our understanding of the universe, fostering a sense of shared ownership over our cosmic endeavors. As we look to the future, we must also embrace the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in space exploration. These technologies can analyze vast amounts of data collected from missions like Juno, helping scientists identify patterns and anomalies 
that might otherwise go unnoticed. AI could play a pivotal role in the automation of spacecraft, enabling them to make real-time decisions based on the data they collect. This level of autonomy is particularly crucial for missions to distant planets where communication delays can hinder rapid responses to unexpected challenges. Furthermore, machine learning algorithms can enhance our modeling efforts, allowing scientists to simulate Jupiter's atmosphere and behavior under various conditions. This capability could improve our predictions and lead to new insights about the planet and its potential for supporting life. In our exploration of Jupiter, we must also embrace interdisciplinary approaches. The study of planetary science encompasses geology, atmospheric science, biology, and engineering, among other fields. Collaborating across disciplines can lead to innovative solutions and holistic understanding. For instance, geologists studying Io's volcanic activity could collaborate with atmospheric scientists to understand how such eruptions influence Jupiter's weather patterns. Similarly, astrobiologists investigating Europa's potential for life could work alongside engineers to develop the technology needed for future missions. As we engage in this collaborative research, we should also embrace the historical context of space exploration. The journey to understand Jupiter is built upon centuries of scientific inquiry and discovery. From the early telescopic observations of Galileo to the cutting-edge missions of today, our understanding of the universe has evolved dramatically. Recognizing the contributions of those who came before us fosters a sense of continuity in our quest for knowledge. Each discovery builds upon the foundations laid by previous generations of scientists and explorers, creating a tapestry of human ingenuity and curiosity. As we ponder the future of Jupiter exploration, we cannot ignore the implications for humanity as a whole. The pursuit of knowledge about our universe is not just about scientific achievement. It reflects our innate desire to understand our place in the cosmos. In the face of challenges such as climate change and resource scarcity on Earth, exploring other planets could provide alternatives and solutions. By studying gas giants like Jupiter, we can gain insights into planetary evolution, potentially informing our strategies for sustainability on our home planet. Additionally, as we consider the long-term future of humanity, the prospect of becoming a multi-planetary species becomes increasingly relevant. Musk's vision of establishing a human presence on Mars is a crucial first step toward this goal, but the journey does not end there. Exploring the outer solar system and potentially colonizing its moons could provide critical insights and resources for sustaining human life beyond Earth. However, this journey requires careful planning and responsible stewardship of our celestial neighbors. The pursuit of expansion into the cosmos must be balanced with the ethical considerations of our actions. Protecting potential life forms and ecosystems should be a priority as we explore and utilize the resources of other worlds. In conclusion, the revelations surrounding Jupiter invite us to rethink our understanding of the universe. As we explore the gas giant and its moons, we stand on the threshold of groundbreaking discoveries that could reshape our knowledge of planetary science, life beyond Earth, and our place in the cosmos. With visionaries like Elon Musk pushing the boundaries of exploration and technological innovation, the future of space exploration is brimming with possibilities. The journey to uncover the secrets of Jupiter is not just a scientific endeavor, it's a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity and resilience. So what do you think about these revelations? How do you envision our exploration of Jupiter impacting our future? Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. Share your insights and theories, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content on space exploration and the mysteries of the universe. Together, let's embark on this journey of discovery fueling our imaginations and inspiring the next generation of explorers. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big. According to NASA, Jupiter has double the mass of all the other planets put together. More than 1,300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. Earth would be the size of a grape compared to Jupiter's basketball proportions. Jupiter, composed of gas left over from the Sun's creation, 
likely formed first in the solar system. The planet would have evolved into a star if it had been around 80 times more massive when it formed. Jupiter and the other gas giants are largely composed of gas as opposed to the rocky substance of Earth and the inner planets. Jupiter's huge mass permits it to maintain its present gaseous state from its early formation. The makeup of its gases hasn't altered in four billion years, thus studying them is a method to learn more about the evolution of our solar system. The composition of Jupiter's outer atmosphere is probably a good indication of what's deeper in the planet, barring the presence of a solid core. Understanding Jupiter's creation relies heavily on our ability to estimate the amount of oxygen, a critical component of water, inside the planet. For instance, if we know how much oxygen Jupiter has, we may calculate its distance from the Sun during its formation. At first, the area where Jupiter now orbits was supposed to be its birthplace. Evidence to the contrary was found, however, when NASA's Galileo spacecraft visited the gas giant in the 1990s and dropped a probe into the planet's clouds. The probe discovered a larger quantity of heavy elements than anticipated, including carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, argon, krypton, and xenon. The presence of these elements in chemical compounds in the presence of other components that develop at higher temperatures was unexpected. The fact that Jupiter evolved at an orbital distance from the Sun greater than its present one may account for the planet's unusually high concentration of heavy elements. There, it was able to amass the materials that had crystallized in the icy areas past Neptune's orbit. Later, Jupiter moved inward until it reached its current orbit. Jupiter's current location is consistent with another notion. In this scenario, ice crystals populating Jupiter's surroundings encased the heavier minerals. The planet ate up these crystals as it was forming. Water on Jupiter is predicted to be different amounts according to the two ideas. This water content will be measured by Juno's microwave, radiometer, and gyram sensors to discover which theory is true or if new theories are needed to explain Jupiter's makeup. Since oxygen and these other heavier elements are essential to life on Earth, understanding how Jupiter gained them will shed light on how we got here. Evidence from other solar systems suggests that big planets like Jupiter can move away from their birthplace and into closer orbits around their stars. Any small, rocky planets that get in the way of these giants, as they drift toward their stars, can either be devoured by them or, due to the giant's immense gravity, blasted out of the star system entirely. However, Jupiter-like planets can act as gatekeepers to their planetary systems if they are kept at a safe distance from their sun. They shield the planets in the inner solar system, allowing them to stay in almost circular orbits that guarantee climate stability for eons. An Earth-like planet's environment would fluctuate wildly on a long elliptical orbit, possibly inhibiting the development of complex life. Jupiter is able to devour any asteroids or comets that wander too close to it, earning it the moniker Vacuum Cleaner of the Solar System. Jupiter is also responsible for creating the asteroid belt that lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They probably couldn't have formed a planet because of its gravity. When small objects go too close to Jupiter, the gas giant can dramatically modify their trajectories, sending them hurtling on extended orbits from which they won't return for hundreds or perhaps thousands of years. We believe this is how comets came to be on their extremely elongated orbits that take them to the solar system's outer regions. They spend the vast majority of their time there, generating a cometary collection known as the Oort Cloud that may reach halfway to the nearest star. However, there are instances when Jupiter actually endangers Earth and the inner planets by sending objects hurtling in their direction. Years ago, Jupiter took a bullet for humanity. One late Sunday night or early Monday morning, something the size of the Pacific Ocean slammed into the brilliant cloud tops of the massive planet, perhaps a comet that no one saw coming. That was the second occurrence of its kind in the past 15 years. In 1994, the world watched as Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 broke apart and its components plummeted into Jupiter 
leaving markings on the gas giant about the size of Earth for up to a year. Astronomers like to argue that it's just Jupiter being Jupiter in the cosmos, superior to us in fact. The story goes that one of the reasons Earth is such a pleasant place to live is that Jupiter's powerful gravity acts as a gravitational shield, keeping potentially dangerous space debris, such as comets, out of the inner solar system, where it could wipe out life as we know it as an asteroid did 65 million years ago. Indeed, similar arrangements are sought by astronomers in other planetary systems as an indicator of their hospitability to life. A massive outer planet with room for smaller planets closer to the parent stars. We can take comfort in the fact that Jupiter is doing its vacuum cleaner job and hoovering up all these large pieces before they come for us, as was acknowledged by Australian amateur astronomer Anthony Wesley, who first spotted the mark on Jupiter and sounded the alarm. But does the king of planets truly live up to his reassuring reputation as a protective parent? Jupiter may be dangerous and helpful in equal measure. The large planet is responsible for both the ejection and introduction of numerous comets into our solar system. To wit, consider the comet named after the Swedish astronomer Anders Lexel, Comet Lexel. Dr. Marsden claims that around 1770, an object traveled about a million miles from Earth, narrowly missing humanity. Three years ago, the comet had come roaring in from the solar system's outer reaches, and its proximity to Jupiter had redirected it onto an orbit that would bring it directly toward Earth. The comet completed two orbits of the Sun before Jupiter sent it back into interstellar space in 1779. It was like Jupiter aimed at us and missed, Dr. Marsden stated, complaining that the comet would never have come close to Earth if Jupiter hadn't flung it at us. Astronomer Hal Levison of the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado, who studies solar system development, has claimed that the origin of the comets determines whether Jupiter is a threat or a defender. Like Shoemaker Levy 9 and the vehicle that recently hit Jupiter, he speculated that Lexel originated in the Kuiper Belt, an icy zone of debris located beyond Neptune's orbit. He speculated that, indeed, Jupiter probably does make us more vulnerable to such comets. He did, however, say that Jupiter shields us from an even more perilous band of comets that originate in the so-called Oort Cloud, a massive spherical deep freeze surrounding the solar system at a distance of a light year from the Sun. Comets are occasionally released from their stowaway status and come tumbling inward in reaction to gravitational nudges from a passing star or gas cloud. There are two ways in which Jupiter helps out in this situation. When the solar system was young, Uranus and Neptune's gravity swept up debris and flung it outward, populating the cloud. However, Jupiter and Saturn are so massive that first of all, they throw a lot of the junk out of the solar system, reducing the size of this cosmic arsenal. Second, some of the comets that get knocked loose and fall back in are deflected by Jupiter. That's like getting hit with two blows at once. However, astronomers warn that asteroids pose the biggest threat to Earth and Jupiter's influence provides little comfort in this regard. The vast majority of asteroids reside in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, where their placid existence is disrupted only by the occasional collision and subsequent rebound in Earth's direction. Greg Laughlin from the University of California, Santa Cruz, claims this is what occurred to a 50-yard wide piece of iron and nickel between 10 and 100 million years ago. The consequence is Barringer Crater, a crater in the desert in northern Arizona that is nearly a mile wide and 500 feet deep. Perhaps it was bestowed upon us by Jupiter, our kind king. When there were more objects in space earlier in the solar system's existence, more impacts would have transported water and other components for life to Earth. Other crashes, such as the one that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago, would have been just as catastrophic. Most hypotheses agree that Jupiter's interior is rich in heavy elements that coalesced in the young solar system. Nearby debris, 
frozen material, and other small things like the numerous comets and asteroids whizzing around four billion years ago formed the solid core of ice, rock, and metal. Due to their shared gravity, these fragments clumped together to create planetesimals, which then collided and bonded to form Jupiter's interior. Over time, the core expanded until its gravity was strong enough to pull in hydrogen and helium, the two lightest elements. As more and more gas built up, Jupiter assumed its present form. Most scientists agree on the broad strokes of this narrative, but many questions remain unanswered. For instance, the origin of the frosty material is still a mystery. However, another view holds that there is actually no central part at all. Instead, Jupiter evolved from the massive cloud of gas and dust that enveloped the newborn sun. Gas and dust particles in this cloud clumped together as it cooled and condensed, making some areas denser than others. A planet formed when one of these concentrated spots attracted enough gas and dust to grow into a sphere. Juno will be able to detect a core by studying the gravitational and magnetic forces of Jupiter. Depending on its size, the field's appearance may vary. It is important to know the size of the core since different theories make contradictory predictions regarding its composition and structure. The condensed cloud hypothesis may be strengthened if Juno discovers no indication of a core. It's also possible that Jupiter had a core in the past, but that it was worn away. It's also possible that anything Juno discovers won't fit any existing theories, forcing researchers to come up with brand new explanations. Meanwhile, recent studies point to a cosmic tug of war as the root cause of Jupiter's auroras. Jupiter's rapid rotation and the release of sulfur and oxygen from volcanoes on Io, the most volcanically active world in the solar system, create an electric current system that drives the powerful auroras observed around the gas giant's poles, according to evidence by the Juno spacecraft and the Hubble Space Telescope. To finally be able to look for this association in the data after having ideas tying these electric currents to Jupiter's spectacular auroras for over two decades was really exciting. Jupiter's diameter is over 11 times that of Earth, and its rotation takes about 9.5 Earth hours. Jupiter's moon, Io, which travels around the gas giant at a mean distance of around 262,000 miles, is home to more than 400 active volcanoes that erupt with lava fountains dozens of miles high. These discharges enter Jupiter's orbit and condense into plasma, a form of charged matter with electrical properties. Most of the material expelled from LO is repelled by Jupiter's rapid revolution, and as the material flows outward, Jupiter's rotation slows. However, the statement claims that electric currents running through Jupiter's upper atmosphere and magnetosphere strive to maintain this material spinning at its rotation speed. This results in a magnetic tug of war between the electric current system and magnetospheric material. Jupiter's auroras are caused by material cycling through the planet's upper atmosphere and interacting with gases as it returns to the planet's poles via the planet's magnetic field lines. Excitingly, this discovery not only strengthens our confidence in our earlier models for describing the behavior of magnetic fields on planets orbiting other stars, but also provides new insight into Jupiter's field. Results from NASA's Juno spacecraft were also released, implying that sprites, or elves, might be playing in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Sprites are transitory luminous events, TLE, seen high above a lightning storm, including storms on Earth, and were named after mischievous fairy-like creatures from European myth. These TLEs, which are triggered by lightning and look like jellyfish, can be seen for miles above a rainstorm. Because each sprite barely exists for a fraction of a second, they are challenging to spot. However, elves have nothing to do with the legendary creature of the same name. Light and very low-frequency disturbances caused by electromagnetic pulse sources are what NASA refers to as elves. Elves, like sprites, appear above the clouds when lightning strikes. Their distinctive form is their defining feature, 
In the sky, elves resemble a flat, luminous disk. Elves, like sprites, only exist for a brief period of time, although they can grow to be far larger than sprites can, up to 200 miles across on Earth. The data collected by Juno marks the first time such sudden, intense bursts of light have been witnessed on another world. TLEs had been anticipated to exist in Jupiter's atmosphere, but they were only thought to exist in theory until an unexpected bright flash of UV light was seen by Juno's ultraviolet spectrograph sensor in 2019. On both Earth and Jupiter, sprites and elves can be easily identified by their unique coloring. Because of the TLE's interaction with the nitrogen in Earth's upper atmosphere, we get reddish flashes here on Earth. However, due to the abundance of hydrogen in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, these colors would appear blue or pink on the giant planet. Eleven enormous, bright occurrences, which Juno believes may be sprites or elves, have been discovered in a region of Jupiter where thunderstorms and lightning are common. Due to their location much above, at around 186 miles, the altitude where most of Jupiter's lightning forms, Juno scientists, have ruled out the notion that these flashes of light were merely megabolts of lighting. Again, suggesting sprites or elves, Juno found that the spectra of these dazzling flashes were predominated by hydrogen emissions. Scientists are hopeful that this discovery may lead to other sightings of sprites and elves on Jupiter and other planets, and that we too on Earth will encounter these fantastical beings in the shape of Halloween costumes and horror films. There are numerous fundamental Jupiter questions that have yet to be answered. In the solar system, Jupiter is second only to the Sun in terms of importance. Being the largest and first of the gas giant planets to emerge, Jupiter has had a significant impact on the development and evolution of all the other planets in the solar system. If you look between Jupiter and Mars, you'll notice an asteroid belt instead of another planet. Many comets have been sent to the outskirts of the solar system by Jupiter's gravity. Jupiter has acted as a gatekeeper, protecting Earth from countless potential comet collisions. The planets are the leftovers from star formation, with Jupiter containing more than twice as much as the rest of the planets put together. The hydrogen and helium that make up the bulk of its atmosphere are also found in the Sun, other stars, and the clouds of gas and dust that populate our galaxy. When the Sun was born, when it had finally amassed enough mass for nuclear fusion to begin, it produced a wind that swept away the vast majority of the remaining gas and dust. Jupiter formed before the wind could have blown away the cloud material, and its composition is therefore very close to that of the original cloud. If an alien were to look at our solar system through a telescope, he or she would observe Jupiter, along with two other rather massive planets and one average yellow star. Earth and the inner planets would seem like nothing more than space junk. Evidence from other solar systems suggests that big planets like Jupiter can move away from their birthplace and into closer orbits around their stars. Any small, rocky planets that get in the way of these giants as they drift toward their stars can either be devoured by them or, due to the giant's immense gravity, blasted out of the star system entirely. Jupiter's composition, inner structure, how its whirling clouds are connected to its active interior, and how it formed can all be studied using Juno and other upcoming advanced technologies. Understanding Jupiter can shed light on the conditions that led to the formation of the solar system and Earth,